Hey, 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 you guys are watching Living Big with Billy K. And obviously, I'm Billy K. And Living Big. Uh, today's a little bit different. I'm outside. I like to say, you know, on location. Whatever. In Bazaar, Kansas. I'm about a mile south of Bazaar. It's actually a town called Bazaar, Kansas. And it is pretty weird out here. Um, it's all farmland. You can kind of tell it's right there. My, uh, my plan's to film walking around kind of got skewered because the sun is so bright out that uh, you're not going to be able to see me and I know everybody wants to see this beautiful face. So uh, I'm filming from inside the van, Vanderson Cooper. Um, the reason I'm out here today is I know two, I know nothing about two, a lot of subjects, but uh, particularly college football. I don't know, there's colleges and they play football, whatever. And I also don't know much about aviation because I'm too scared to fly. I'd be, if I got on a plane, I'd have to take up two seats and the plane would fly like that. I'm sure you've all seen the pictures of the big guy and nobody likes to sit next to the big guy. And the plane be going like that. Who the hell wants to fly like that? Um, anyway, college football, aviation, and a couple little interesting side tidbits about how today's NFL game actually has an amusement park to thank for the game. And I know most people are unless you know the stories. Um, back in, I think it was 1888 in Voss, Norway, a kid named Newt Rockney was born. And uh, that's not the same place as where Voss water comes from. Believe me, I looked it up because I love Voss water and I wanted to have a little Voss water here. But uh, I can't afford that. So um, I keep looking over there because there's, uh, I'll show you later in the video, but there's, there's a huge fire going on right across the street. Uh, maybe a half a mile away, and uh, it's pretty crazy. Um, and it actually will tie into this video later. So anyway, Newt Rockney, he ended up uh, going on to coach Notre Dame football, the Fighting Irish. I'm sure most of you guys heard of that. He he compiled. Uh, I think he I think he coached there for 13 years, and he compiled a 105, 12, and five record, which. I had to look that up a couple times because that's just amazing. 105 wins, 12 losses, and I guess five ties. I don't know much, like I said, about football, so I don't know the ties and all that stuff. So, But that's something like an 880% win percentage, and I, I don't know anybody that's won that much. So he, um, I forget what age he was, but after uh, he something in Kansas City, he came to see his kids, and uh, he hopped on a flight. It was a... I think it was a Fokker F-10. It was the plane. And keep in mind, this is back in 1931. And um, he took off. He was going from Kansas City, which is probably just about two hours to my left, to two hours east. And he was supposed to fly out to L.A. for some kind of just see a production of a movie or something or watch a movie being produced. And he was going to have a stop off in Wichita, which is to the right, probably about an hour or so. Uh, depending, and after takeoff, keep, again, 1931, these planes, apparently the wings are made of wood. You would not get me on a plane now where they're high-tech and computerized. Can you imagine getting on a plane in 31 and it's a wooden wings? Woo, booby. Anyway, so after they take off, I don't know what happened in the plane or anything, but it was later found that the wing fell off because the glue loosened or whatever it glue glue and, and wood on a plane in the air no, no, no um the wing fell off so i don't know much about aviation but i do know that if the wing falls off the plane it's not good it, it's gonna go down so 90 years ago this week nine, uh, march 31st 90 years ago this week in that field right there and I will show you a little more in depth with me off camera. The plane crash. About a, about a half a mile over the hill behind me here. There is a, a memorial to, to Newt, Newt Rockney, which, by the way, has got to be the most badass name you've ever heard. Newt Rock, other than Billy Guy. Um, he crashed, and eight people on the plane died. And uh, I guess back then it would have been a big deal because there's looks like there's a secondary fire over here now, too. Um, just because he's legendary now, 90 years later. So, but, uh, so that's what I'm going to show you. Just, well, I can't get on the property. It's too, 
it's it's too far in and there's cows and all that stuff plus i am in kansas and i don't want to get shot so but a couple of things for end the video um cedar point ohio or cedar point amusement park up in sandusky ohio before he became a coach new rockney worked there and he worked uh he, he he perfected the forward pass, which I didn't know that wasn't a thing as soon as football was was invented. But he perfected the forward pass while he was working at Cedar Point, Ohio, or Cedar Point in Sandusky, Ohio. And obviously now in the NFL, everybody loves a forward pass. So in a roundabout way, we have Cedar Point to thank for today's NFL game, which I love in history how stuff that you wouldn't think of can connect each other like that. I who would have known? And uh, and the weird, we got a tractor going by, so let me let it go by. And the other weird thing, and this is just a personal thing. My my name's Billy Kenneth Peterson, Billy K. Peterson, obviously. Um, he was on his way from visiting one his two sons, one of them whose name was Bill. Newt Rockney's middle name is Kenneth, and the current owners of this farm here, or ranch where the crash happened and the memorial is right back there, is owned by the Peterson family. So Bill Kenneth and Peterson and Billy Kenneth Peterson, I found that out last night as I was just doing a little bit of research, and I just thought that was pretty cool. Um, again, I don't know much about this stuff, and I don't know why I think I could tell you about it, but I just like history and I like going to weird places. So if you're ever in Kansas, bizarre Kansas, I don't know why you'd be here south of, Cal oh, the window almost took the camera, south of Council Grove, north of Emporia, I think. Stop by here and just look around and just imagine what 90 years ago would have been like sitting here and seeing a wooden plane with no wing just come crashing down so now if i can i'm gonna swing it around here and i'm gonna show you just an over you know a 360 of the field here and that uh that fire that's over there kind of looks at this point like an alien ship landed or something i don't know maybe i'm going home so there you go newt rockney unfortunately with seven other people i don't remember their names that's just how it is i you don't forget, unfortunately, you don't remember the non-famous people, I guess, when they die. Right in that field behind me, crashed and ended their lives in March 31st, 1931. All right, so here we are. This is Kansas Highway 117, just a two-lane road that goes out of Manhattan. Don't know how far south, but like I said, bizarre Kansas. And now panning over to the left, you're going to see some trees right here. And just behind those trees, you'll see a mound, or a hill, I guess. And on the other side of that hill is where Newt Rockney's plane crashed. And I can just imagine standing out here, there probably wasn't much more of anything out here. Even the little road that I'm standing on wasn't here, I'm sure, back then. And uh, you can kind of, I don't know if you can see the trails from that plane up there. And uh, going down. And then... Now, the, the smoke has dissipated a little bit, but that's the fire. Like I said, it, it might just be a big field brush fire. But as I was coming down Highway 170, or 177, it was just crazy. It was, so much, it was a lot taller than that, too, and darker. And it just kind of made you feel like uh, that's what first responders back in 1931 would have seen had it still been on fire when they uh, came down this road pulled in right here and then went out to the farm there and uh from what i read they couldn't uh they couldn't identify newt rockney's body but i can't imagine in many plane crashes that hit the ground would you be able to so but it just makes you think that uh no matter how famous you are or anything like that famous rick i don't know if he was rick your life can end in a moment in the middle of a field in kansas and you never know so 
that's it for today, guys. I'm going to try and get another video up. Uh, if you like the video, hit like, subscribe, do what you got to do. Here's Vanderson Cooper, by the way, just to change the subject, but that's the new van. Go ahead, make fun of me in the minivan. I call it, I'm the minivan mafia godfather, and I'm riding around with my two thug pugs. Works for me. All right. Uh, thanks for watching.